So I'm a big old school Resident Evil fan, and when I was at Too Many Games in Philadelphia a couple weeks ago, I saw something at a vendor's table called 8-Bit Evolution that I had to have. Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. Now I know what you're thinking, RGT85, you're talking about Resident Evil Gaiden, right? No, I'm not. I'm talking about the original Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. Now how could this be? The Game Boy Color was actually a pretty powerful system when you think about it, when you look at games like Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble and Mega Man Extreme, but those games were programmed with the Game Boy Color hardware in mind. This actually is a one-to-one -one replication of the PlayStation Classic. So how the hell is this possible? How was Resident Evil on a Game Boy Color cartridge and why did it never see a retail release? Well in this video we're going to take a look at the history of the project and I'm also going to do a quick review on the actual game that I have. So let's take a look at the history of Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color technically shouldn't even be a thing that exists, but it is. The story goes that two brothers left their jobs at Acclaim in 1998 and started a new company called Hot Gen. Their first mission? Port Resident Evil from the PlayStation 1 to a 4 megabit Game Boy Color cartridge. They showcased their ideas and technology they had to Capcom who were immediately excited and gave them the green light to work on this project. The game started having early preview builds showcased in places like IGN who seemed very excited about the game. Additionally, an advertisement was seen showcasing some upcoming Capcom games that were coming to the Game Boy Color, with Resident Evil stealing the spotlight. What was originally supposed to be a holiday 1999 release, however, slipped into early 2000. Capcom then decided in March of 2000 that the game was cancelled as they were not happy with the product. In 2011, a prototype was discovered of the game after an auction purchase. Around the same time, a forum called Assembler Games also claimed to have a different working prototype. These two were put together and $2,000 was raised to have both ROMs released, which they were in February of 2000. While the first prototype from the auction was much more bare bones and only had Chris available to play as, the second prototype from Assembler Games was about 90% complete and had both Jill and Chris available to play as. The game technically could not be completed, however, due to a few bugs, until a member of ROMHacking.net patched the issues and made it so you can finish the game, albeit with no ending. And that's the version I have on this cartridge. So a game that's 90% complete yet doesn't see the light of day more than likely is not going to be a good game, right? Well, it's kind of subjective in this case, honestly, because Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color is very, very impressive. They actually included all of the text from the game, which to me is amazing. You have both scenarios, Jill and Chris, and the game looks pretty damn good. Now, being that it's 90% complete, there are some issues with the game. The first and most noticeable is the coding that's constantly on the bottom of the screen. It can get a little distracting, but I didn't really find it to be a big deal. One of the more noticeable ones that is kind of a big deal, however, is when you kill a zombie. They simply just fall to their knees like they're going to perform fellatio on you or something, and they don't hit the ground all the way, which was kind of weird, but I understand it. That animation probably wasn't completed. Now the sound in the game is pretty minimal. There's a score that plays throughout the whole time, there's gunshots, and there's footsteps. Other than that, you're not getting too much. But what do you really expect? This is a 4 megabit cartridge that literally has a CD game on it. And there's lots of positives about Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color as well. To me, it's a technical masterpiece. How they managed to fit every room, all these little details from the original game into the final product on the Game Boy Color. It's just mind blowing really. The colors are really crisp and vibrant. The cutscenes are there, albeit you know in stagnant form, but there's so much to enjoy about this game if you're a classic Resident Evil fan because it's Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be confused about this, but I think old school gamers will really be able to appreciate the time and the dedication that went into making this game. And the packaging on this is just amazing. I'm gonna show you guys some of the packaging on this because I really enjoyed it. It's very eye-catching, right down to the actual cartridge.
So Resident Evil on the Game Boy Color. I really wish this would have seen a retail release. I think it could have been pretty good. There was lots of games kind of similar to it, like Alone in the Dark on the Game Boy Color, but this would have really set a standard. Resident Evil is a classic game, and if you're a classic gaming fan, you really owe it to yourself to check out this ROM. If anything, just download the ROM. You can go on that romhacking.net website and get the patch version and play it on an emulator since this never saw an official release. But if you are a Resident Evil fan, and you are a game collector, I highly suggest you track down this physical release. Now, 8-Bit Evolution doesn't have it on their website currently as they're undergoing some transitions right now, but when they do, I will let you guys know because it's definitely something that needs to be in your catalog. Let me know what you think of what I've shown you of the game. Let me know what you think of the actual game itself in the comments section down below. Thank you for liking this video and thank you for subscribing. I'm going to go play some more Resident Evil on my Game Boy Color. That's such a weird thing to say. I'll see you guys next time. Later.